Hi, in this video we will discuss about Mangalore University 4th Sem BCA Computer Graphics and Animation Lab Part C Programs. Program 2 Write a program to draw a polygon by accepting vertex coordinates and perform basic transformations. Translation, scaling, rotation about a given point based on user's choice. So this is a polygon to implement the basic transformations, translation, scaling and rotation. So here we are going to use five different functions. So one for translation, scaling, rotation and two functions to draw a polygon and the other one is to clone a polygon to get an output. So let us see the functions then we will come back to our main function. So here the first one what we are going to see is a polygon. So polygon is going to take X array and Y array as input with the number of points. Imagine I am going to have a triangle with three points. So this is given as an input. Say this is X naught comma Y naught and this is x1 comma y1 and this is x2 comma y2. So please when you give input you have to give in the proper order. You cannot give randomly two points. So you have to give it in the sequence only from where to where your line should be drawn. So the first we are going to move the pointer to x0 comma y0. From there for i is equal to already 0 is covered. So from i is equal to 0 to i less than n, we draw a line to xi comma yi that is x1 y1. So already the pointer is in x0 y0 so we will just draw a line to x1 y1. Now the current point is x1 y1. Once again the control will go to your for loop the i will become 2 so it will move line to x2 comma y2. We will draw a line from x1 y1 to this particular Point. Now i is greater than n because n is equal to 3 it will come back to the last line. So from this particular current point x2 y2 it will draw a line to x0 y0. So we are getting a complete polygon a closed polygon. So this we are going to use to draw a polygon. Here we want to change after transformation I want to store the values in a new array. Because if I change the original array, I may not be able to get back to the original array. So I am just using a clone poly uh, function. Clone poly function is just going to copy the content of x to x new and y to y new, new using a for loop. That is the second function. The third one is the translate. So translate is going to translate the point. Here I am using a pointer. So pointer x, y, t, x, t, y is the translation vector. So imagine the point is going to be some 200 comma 200 means translation vector is 20 and 20 means it will just add the value and it will be getting 200 plus 20 is equal to 220. Like this I am going to just perform a translation. So what we learned in our theory. Only thing is I am using a pointer here and I have, so I am using asterisk over here. x is equal to x plus tx and y is equal to y plus ty. That's all. The next one is rotate. So rotate you are going to have five arguments. The point x comma y, angle of rotation and then the reference point x comma y. For example, if I am having a rectangle a triangle like this a polygon is like this when I want to rotate I want the point particular point is reference point or pivot point and I have to keep that particular point as constant after rotation the same point will exist so for that we call it as reference x and reference y so as you studied in your theory for rotation and scaling we will move the polygon to the origin 
that is we have to do minus ref x minus ref y that is we will move it to the origin then we will just perform the rotation or scaling and we will retranslate it to the original point by using plus value. So I have already translate function so I am passing x comma y comma this reference x and reference y minus reference x minus reference y reference y as an argument to translate function to move it to origin. Then I will rotate the point that is x is equal to x cos theta minus y sin theta and nu y is equal to x sin theta plus y cos theta. This is our formula what we have derived in our theory and I will retranslate it to the original point by using translate x comma y comma ref x comma ref y. Here it is negative this is positive. This is translate function. Next we go for the scaling. Since scaling also we are going to do it with reference to a particular point only. So that fixed point I am just passing is an argument and along with that I am having two values that is sx scale x scale value and y scale value. Here also I am going for translate it to its origin. Uh, perform scaling that is x is equal to x into sx y is equal to y into sy and I will retranslate it to the original point. This is the function what we are using. So totally we are using 5 functions. Codings will be very simple if you follow. Now we will go back to our main function. Here first we declare all the prototypes. We include graphics.h. We initialize all the variables required then we will get the input for the polygon. So degree of the polygon say 3 or 4 and we read the inputs for x and y in an array x and y x i comma y i. Now we will go for the menu. In menu we are going to display the choices. Translate 1 for translate, 2 for rotate, 3 for scaling, 4 for exit and we will read the choice. And we will call the clone poly because the original value is here means you want to if you change the original value once again when you come back to the menu you want the original value. So I am just going for clone the poly that is I will copy the values of xy to x new y new and then I will draw the original polygon if the choice is equal to 1. Choice is 1 means we have to go for translate. So I will just get the input that is translation vectors tx comma ty and I will call translate of since we have a pointer I am using Amberson here. Amberson means address of I am passing the address of x new and y new. I will set the color to green and I will call I will just call polygon function with the new translated value. Similarly if it is and rotation case 2 rotation we will get input for the angle and the pivot point of rotation that is xf comma yf and I will call the rotate for all the points using for loop using the rotate function here I am having 5 arguments angle comma xf comma yf once again I repeat always please be careful with the order of the parameters passed set the color to green and draw the new polygon. If it is scaling there is case 3 get the input for sx comma sy then the fixed point xf comma yf using a for loop transfer scale all the points by using scale of ambassin x nu that is the address of x nu of i ambassin x nu of y nu of i sx sy sf xf and yf. Set the color to green and draw the new polygon and it should be given within a infinite loop. So this is just a main function to display the menu and call your functions. So if you give the input like this, the degree of the polygon is 3 and the coordinate points are 200, 200, 100, 300, 300, 100. So the original so, polygon is displayed in white color and the translation vector is 20 comma 20 means we will add the value that is x value by 20 and y value by 20. So it is displaced by 20 points. This is the output. The same way 
if the translation vector is negative if the value is negative the value will be subtracted and it is moving to the right hand side and up otherwise if it is positive it will move down and right this is an example for scaling so the choice is equal to 3 means scaling i am giving 2 comma 2 that is sx and sy is 2 means the size is double i am giving the input fixed point as 200 comma 200 so this 200 comma 200 is not changed for the original polygon and the scaled polygon if the value is less than 0 the scaling factor is less than 0 the size of the polygon is reduced the size is reduced scale down is done and you can give any point as a fixed point i am giving fixed point is 300 comma 300 so i am getting this point as fixed that is that is not going to change like this also you can apply so if the sx comma sy is greater than 1 is greater than 1 then we say scale up if it is less than 1 we say that it is scale down so scale up and scale down you can do if you keep it as 1 1 means no change so you can just do uh, do according to your requirement see here even i have given different values for sx and sy it is not necessary that both sx and sy should be same so if both sx is equal to sy we call it as uniform scaling and if both are not equal that is sx is not equal to sy we call it as differential scaling so this is an example for differential scaling i am just reducing the size of x whereas i am increasing the size of y so i am getting a different format so here the fixed point is 200 comma 200 so this we are having here this is an egg. option 2 is rotation so here we are going to take input that is the angle of rotation 30 degree and the point of rotation if the rotation angle theta r theta is positive we are going to get clockwise rotation that is it is going to rotate clockwise if the theta value that is angle of rotation is negative we are going to get anti clockwise rotation so here it is positive so it is going clockwise so white is the original polygon green is the uh, transformed polygon now the value is minus 30 means i am going to get rotation in the opposite direction you can also change the pivot point of rotation here it is 300 comma 300 we are creating different shape it is not necessary that the fixed point of scaling or your pivot point of rotation should be always uh, one of the vertices here in this example i have given a point 200 comma 250 that is a point inside the polygon so my I, when i apply my scaling i am getting the scaling equally in all the direction so the fixed point can be any point it is not necessary to be a point of vertex wish you a happy coding